Welcome to month four, box six, star puzzle of the Cheshire Quilters Guild 2018 block of the month. This month we have two blocks. This is block six, star puzzle. Look for the other video for block seven, rippling star. In steps one and two, we're going to make four half square triangles in two different fabric combinations. And we're going to follow the same instructions as we had in block three in the month two installment and we're going to start by uh, layering together fabrics A and D and fabrics B and E draw our lines on the back and stitch the on either side of the drawing lines cut them apart and press toward the darker fabric. When I get that, uh, and then trim them to size as noted in the instructions. So I'm going to do that and I'll meet you back here when I have them done so we can see what we need to do for step three. Now we're going to take the large square in the four of large square fabric A in the four squares of fabric E and make four flying geese units and the instructions for that are found in step one of block five so they're in the March installment but remember we start that by drawing some stitching lines notice that the squares are scooched in a little bit from the side we're going to sew those, cut it apart, press, and then we'll be able to position the next squares on. I'll come back and show you that step. Okay, there's the first half of our flying geese done. And so I'm just going to position on the next squares, draw my line, stitch, separate, press, and trim these flying geese to size. Um, and then we will have all of the pieces we need to start assembling our block. So I'll see you back here and we'll start the assembly. Okay, the first step in assembly is to make the inner pinwheel. So you want to arrange your, uh, these are the half square triangles from step two, the fabric BE. And you want to arrange them in the pinwheel fashion and then we'll just sew them together in pairs and then sew the two pairs together in rows and I'm going to just uh, press the seams open as I sew these together just to make sure uh, we don't have any issues with where the flying geese are going to connect at these seam intersections so let me go do that. I'll come back. I'll show you what the back of my uh, center of my star puzzle block looks like. And we'll lay out the rest of it and see how it goes. Okay, here's my center pinwheel made. And I pressed my seams open as I said I was going to. So now we can lay out the rest of the block, which involves putting our flying geese on every side with the point to the inside. and the range the other flying or sorry the other half square triangles we made in the outside corners oops sorry about that so there's the block laid out for you and now we need to just, just sew it together in rows so I've got the top and bottom rows and the middle pinwheel row and as we put them together what we're going to do is we're going to press the seams away from the flying geese so toward the pinwheel toward the half square triangles and then our seams between each row will nest together and we can finish assembling the block so I'll meet you back here when I've got my block finished so you can see what it looks like and there you have it block six star puzzle of the 2018 Cheshire Quilters Guild block of the month. Next up is block seven, Rippling Star. 
which is also part of month four of the 2018 Cheshire Quilters Guild Block of the Month. See you there!